Hey friends, Matt with Handcrafted here. Uh, behind me is our coastal tiny home. This is an all new model. It's uh, 31 long by 10 feet wide. And let's take a quick tour. Uh, up on the front here, we've got a removable tongue, which is really nice. So once you get to where you're parking it, you can go ahead and take that off and obviously support the trailer otherwise. Uh, but you would be able to skirt this entire house and put decks around it. And it would really look like it's pretty planted to the land. Um, so coming around the front here, we've got a warm white exterior. It looks really stark, really clean and fresh. We've got a couple exterior lights, obviously lots of windows in the front door. We've got this little downturn area here, which softens this face a little bit from being so tall. And exterior outlets, uh, lap siding here and board and bat there um, on the very back of the trailer. And on the back of the trailer, we've got the electrical panel, we've got the mini split, instant water heater, propane hookups, water inlet. Um, this is certified by Pacific West Associates as a park model RV. Let's take a look inside. Uh, once you get in the house, you've got a little table here. It's kind of a surfboard inspired shape I made. A uh, built-in bench for a couple people. You could put a few stools here and not impede on the door opening and closing, which is nice. Um, and then across the way, we've got the kitchen cabinets. We've got a lot of storage um, doors and drawers to choose from. We got a little coffee counter here, open shelves, farmhouse sink, um, GE profile, oven range combo there. Um, hood fan vent to the outside, a little bit of storage up the top there and 10 cubic foot refrigerator with storage underneath and a little bit more up top there. Um, we've got LED can lights in here, which are really nice. They're directional as well, so you can kind of point those in whatever direction you would like. Um, on this side, we just staged it with a few chairs, but there's room for a full seven foot couch. So tons of room there for you to do what you like with that. And then across the way, we've got this um, plastered fireplace wall it's really brought a new thing to us. This is the first time we've done this. It's really a fun look. Um, smart TV, electric fireplace. And in here is the bedroom. So this is a queen size bed that we've got set up that we were just doing a photo shoot with. You've obviously got wall sconces on either side and outlets with USB chargers. Um, if someone didn't want to use this as a bedroom, you could obviously use this as a home office or gym or whatever you wanted to do with this space. And so you could take this mattress out um, and do that. And so tucked behind the fireplace, I'll reposition here. Um, tucked behind the fireplace is this little walk-in closet. This is a first for us to be able to have the space to do this. Um, you've got a little ledge here. You've got some hanging hooks and lots of uh, spaces for hangers and a little shelf up there. We've got this brass chandelier, obviously. The mini split head unit is fairly centrally located. That's always nice to try to get as close as you can to the center of the house. There's always restrictions with trying to do that, but if you can do that, you can have a little more even airflow. And so we've got a lot of local white oak that we've put in here. Uh, this area underneath the stairs is big enough for washer dryer combo unit. We've tried to preserve as much of the stairway as we can. Um, up these stairs is a loft, room for a queen bed, little pockets of storage wherever we can fit them. And the last area to check out would be the bathroom. 42 inch vanity here with storage drawers. Uh, we've got a shower here with extra head height and a little seat there. Across the way we got this uh, house flush toilet and good size window with a high apron height for privacy and this really cool door here that uh, is color matched paint with the cabinets and with the door up there so anyway this is a quick tour of this new model so if you're interested there's a lot more details on the website this is now for sale